What's up, guys? I'm I'm finally back to build this battery, man. After all this time, yeah, we're gonna build this lithium battery today. Um, I went ahead and I bought some uh, the economy set, Jim's uh, economy set. Yeah, and today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna polish these uh, to build this battery with. But before I do that, I'm gonna show you how you would use a, a bar of aluminum to make your own bars. You know, make your own straps or whatever. Um, and that way for those of you guys who may be having to build your own straps uh, you'll know how to do it I got my batteries I got my balancer we will show how to install a balancer how to uh, take the ring terminals and clip on it man and where to where where to put each lead uh, of course in the proper place on the battery itself uh, I got my uh, I got all my sandpapers and uh, everything to be able to uh, and do the polishing with I got some flits that I'm going to use for polishing I got my charger um, so that we can charge the battery up once that we have uh, assembled it yeah so uh, this going to be a, it's going to be nice man uh, let's go ahead and get into it yeah all right let's get this in so first what we want to do is we want to measure the distance between these two cells okay I done I done kind of stretch this out on camera from uh, cell to cell is two and a half inches now you got to have spacing in between your cells I think it's recommended between one eighth and two between an eighth and a quarter you know I guess that's really going to be up to you the the main thing here is is that there has to be spacing in between the cells okay so what I've done here is I've measured these cells six inches so I'm going to make my straps six inches long these are these these straps here these bars are 12 inches so I can get two two straps per bar so let's go ahead and mark that and that tells me where my end is all right let me go ahead and measure my center which would be three inches would be my center all right so now I'm gonna do two and three quarter inches off my center That'll be 2.75 on the calipers. Yeah. So this is the end. That's my center. I'm gonna give me another uh, inch off of the off of the end. Another inch off this end, or excuse me, half inch. That way I know I got plenty of cell coming over. I'm going to line it up with my slide rule. I'm going to mark it. All right. Now if you want, you can measure this, the width of it, the length of it, find the center of the of the strap, you know, so that you can get this perfect, no problem. I'm not going to do that today, simply because what I'm, all I'm doing here is trying to show you how to, <clears throat> how to get this done. So I'm using a punch, you don't have to use that, but I like to use a punch. I find the center of my strap in that line, and I get it, and I do it here. All right, so that now my my bar is punched. I'm come over here, get my drill bits. Yeah, pick out the appropriate size for the terminal. You can see that that's it. This is a half inch, and you would drill your hole. You would find your punch mark, set your drill bit in the punch mark, and then drill. I'm not going to drill it, but that's how you would do it. Make sure that you get your holes straight up and down. Yeah, that's very important. You don't want your hole cockeyed. You want it to be straight up and down as you can. I, I, I recommend a drill press. That's what's going to work best. Yeah, okay. Now, in the center, in the very center of your, of your strap, make another punch mark. And that's where your balancer screw is going to go. And you would drill a hole for that with the appropriate drill bit, and then you could tap it. You must tap it for the size screw that you're going to be using. 
and then your strap is complete and you make as many straps as you need depending on the size of battery that you're building and that's how you would do it that way yeah it's not too difficult uh, it's a little time consuming you know yeah okay uh, and it's not too it's, it's not it's not it's not that hard you know uh, it's all about the the biggest thing that you got to worry about guys is having the spacing in between the cells you absolutely must have that yeah if you've got the spacing the same spacing for every cell then you're going to be good to go okay yeah no matter which way your strap is going you're going to be good to go all right all right let's get over here to polishing these uh these bars all right so i got my terminals laid out here uh i'm just simply using a clamp to kind of hold them together a little bit that way i can try to do them all at the same time I got my sandpaper here. I got 600, 800,000, 1,500, 2,000, 3,000, and 4,000 grits. Uh, that should be plenty enough. I got my WD-40 that we can use to lubricate it with, you know, to get it going. And uh, after we sand it and everything, then we'll start polishing it. I got my, my, hook, my hook pad. I got my drill. We're going to go ahead and get this in, get this started. I'm not going to make a real detailed video about this, guys, because, you know, it's like everybody's got one out, and uh, if you need a, a how-to video, man, just kind of look it up. You'll see it. But uh, we'll come back. We'll get different shots of it here as we get along. All right, so I'm up to the 2,000 grit. Man, I need to get something to wipe that off with. Yeah. Let's just use old shirt. But you can see it's starting to polish pretty good there. Yeah, it's getting shiny. All right. Got two more grits to go, and uh, then we'll start polishing, man. All right. All right. Uh, <laughs> I'm not very good at this, guys. This is the first time I've ever attempted anything like this. But uh, it's working, you know. Yeah. I can see now my, the way I've got this set up is not very good. Uh, so... I need, to, I need a better system of clamping so that I can uh, sand this more evenly with the sandpaper and whatnot. Probably, seeing as these are so small, I need to use a smaller sander instead of this big 6 inch sander. I'm guessing a Dremel would probably be a, uh, a better size fit. And that way I could use a clamp to hold these individually, you know, and, and work on them. So, uh, yeah, hey, it's a lesson learned, man. But you know what? <clears throat> it's kind of shiny. Once they clean up, it'll look all right, man. I'm not going for, per for perfect here. I just thought I'd put a sh some kind of shine on them while I had them out. Yeah, all right. Now I'm going to go ahead and start putting this battery together and get this thing ready. All right, guys. <clears throat> so the way I started this is I laid down my first six cells in series the way that they're supposed to go. Okay? I put... I put my bottom plates on, put the nuts on the bottom plates. These are just hand tight. They're not they're not torqued down yet. And then I come up here to the next row and I started putting the batteries in the way that they're supposed to go. And then putting the plates on as I move down until I got them all in there. And now I'm going to finish putting the nuts on them and put the terminals on them. I'm not going to I'm not I'm not I'm not going to torque them down. I'm going to get a uh uh, what do you call it? One of those torque wrenches that measures inches or whatever. And uh, that way I'll torque them down. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to try to do it. I've seen too many of these things broke <laughs> in the Facebook groups. All right, I don't want that to happen to me. But uh, I am going to go ahead and put the balancer on. We'll put the ring terminals on and show you guys how to do that, you know, and uh, the order of it and whatnot. Yeah. All right. All right. So we're back. We got our balancer wired up with the uh, with the rings. Yeah, I got a 12s balancer, but I got a 6s bank. But that's all right because we'll use it. Yeah, we're only gonna wire. We're only gonna use the wires that we need. The rest of the wires will tape up and uh, make sure they're out of the way. Yeah, you should have seven leads for a 6s bank. Okay, seven leads. I got seven terminals. We start with the negative which is on this end so if we start at this end then that means we work this way yeah okay which means our first one our ground our first ground is going to go here then our hot our next one our next one the next one the next one and the last one 
yeah that's the order that you'll go in just whatever side you start on you go in the opposite direction of that yeah all right let me get this wired up all right so it is charging I got it on AGM trickle charge which is two amps which is the slowest this charger will go this charger over here this is a cheap Chinese junk I plugged it up and it wouldn't even come on I checked the fuse in it fuse was good it's just garbage so I got this regular charger on it I just won't charge it up to as high a voltage as that one over there would but that's all right it's all right it'll take it up to about 13 13.8 uh, something like that um, so my balancer is working you can see the see the red lights it means it's balancing yeah I did equalize these batteries uh, before before I built this bank so that uh, they were all at or near the same charge you know I don't know what I, for, I for, I'm sorry yeah, I, I forget the specs on this balancer I don't know what the difference is in it but it is working that's what's important <laughs> All right, man. Yeah. Well, guys, I hope that uh, I hope that somebody found that interesting, or you know, got some content out of it. Uh, was able to watch it. Um, I am going to take it back apart, of course, and I'm going to go ahead and and uh, find a better way, man, to polish these links and stuff like that. I got a Dremel, so I'll try that with a Dremel. I'll get me a vice. A regular vice and use it so that uh, I can get better uh, better grip on it keep it from sliding around the table or whatnot yeah all right all right guys I'll see you at the next one